Welcome to On the Green Screen with the Lockerbie Brothers. I'm Will, and he is Reed. Reed, it's the middle of the week, so it's time for sports, 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 right? sports, sports. Yep, uh, and this week, what is it? We're talking about Auburn and national championships. Those things don't seem to go together. Yeah, we're looking at an article by Kevin Skarbinski on AL.com this past week. The headline was, Tommy Tuberville disappointed Auburn won't recognize his 2004 team as national champions. Uh, just to give you a quick snippet, uh, Skarbinski writes, there's still at least one sore spot between Tuberville and Auburn that won't go away. Actually, there are probably like 18 of those. Right. Um, it's the school's decision not to recognize his undefeated 2004 team as national champions. Um, all right, so what they're talking about here is back in the spring, Jay Jacobs and Auburn went and looked at six different years and thought about retroactively claiming national championships, right? They made the decision not to, and some of those years, I don't know, I thought they had a really good argument. 1913, of course, undefeated. 1914, uh, only a tie to Georgia. Okay, let me let me stop you right there. Will. Okay. Look, this, this would have been pathetic for Auburn to have done this. They made the right decision. I can tell you, Will, that self-respecting schools don't just go back and tack on six national championships that they weren't counting up until that point. That'd be absurd. Right? I think I think some people do. No, so no, no, no self-respecting school would ever do that, right? Um, Auburn made the right choice here just to leave it where it is at two and stick with that. Well, but here's the thing, Reed. Uh, up until now, the playoff, there really was never a legitimate national champion. So why not go back and go ahead and bring those numbers up, right? No. Because some some schools make fun of other schools for not having as many, Look, right? They can go back and claim them and not have to put up with so much punishment. I, if we had time in this segment, unfortunately we don't, I could tell you about 15 very legitimate national championships, right? As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and talk about this. I think what Auburn should be doing here is looking at trying to be more like Alabama. Alabama is not the kind of school that goes back and retroactively claims national championships. Well. Heck, they're winning championships in the future. I talked to an Alabama fan the other day who said that they're probably going to win 10 out of the next 10 national championships. Look, that's a possibility, but I, I think you need to check your facts on this. Actually, read in 2004 that we're talking about specifically here. I mean, Auburn undefeated four uh, first round draft picks, of course, didn't get a chance to play. USC ends up winning the whole thing. And then, right. of course, they get it stripped. Nobody's okay. a national champion. Okay. Why right not claim you it? You just said it right there. They didn't get a chance to play. Right. And championship teams find a way to get a chance to play. A real championship is not when you don't even get a chance. It's when you do something like you lose to LSU in the middle of the season, and then you luck your way into a championship game, and then you beat LSU, which makes you basically tied with them, and right. bam, you're the national champion. So you think two, two is fine? for Auburn. No, as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, if anything, Auburn should consider changing their number from two down to one because, well, in 1957 when they won the national championship, they weren't even Auburn. They were the Alabama Polytechnic <laughs> Institute. So that doesn't even count. That's a whole different school. And now that I think about it, in 2010, they were the West Georgia Water Boys. So that also doesn't count. So really, Auburn needs to focus less on counting old championships that aren't real. They need to try to win their first national championship. Yeah, if you want to interact with us and tell us why I'm right, and read is wrong, you can tweet at us at Lock Me Brothers. You can comment below right there in the comments section, or if it's too long for all that, you can just email us, lockmebrothers at gmail.com. We'll respond to it at the end of the week.